Hi there, I'm John. I'm Linda and we are part of the staff team at St Nick's. It's great of you to join us today and we're really excited about sharing God's word and praying together. So the scripture that we're looking at today is just from the start of Matthew chapter 16 and it's a, a portion of scripture where the Pharisees and Sadduce Sadducees try and catch Jesus out by asking him for a sign and Jesus responds like this. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. This scripture has been really challenging both of us in this season as we have been chatting and reflecting about what does it mean to watch for the signs of God in this season. Um, it strikes me that society often tries to numb our feelings or distract us from things, um, whereas as Christians we are really called to stop, um, to discern what is happening in the world around and to really listen for what is God's will. Where is God calling us to journey with people who are really suffering and mourning in this season? Where are we seeing signs of God's activity that is fresh and perhaps giving us a new chance to join in with what God's Spirit is doing? Yes, and this image, of course, of watchers or watchmen watching for a sign is really important. Um, I wonder whether or not we are watching uh, to the fullest extent of our ability. Are we uh, like those um, people that would have been watching on the walls of an ancient city, constantly vigilant for the sign of God's kingdom and God's creation breaking through? I think it's an exciting opportunity, and uh, one of the things that we, um, one of the things that we're called to do as leaders is to watch out for the signs of God's kingdom. Where could that be happening on your street, uh, in your church community, um, perhaps in the wider world? What is God doing amongst us at this time? Mm. So I wonder uh, what God is saying to you today about the signs of the times. Perhaps you could take a moment to personally reflect mm. on the scripture that John shared. But let's pray together. Lord, we thank you that your spirit is with us, that you are working in this season. Lord, help us to say no to distractions. Help us to choose to take time to stop, to watch. Where are you at work? Where are you calling us to join in with your activity in Nottingham today? Lord, teach us how to stand with those who are mourning or suffering in isolation. Teach us how to grow in unity in this season, to encourage each other as we listen to you and as we discern together what is it that you are saying to us as individuals and as a church in this season. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us and we really will be praying a continuation of God's blessing on you today as you take time to stop, to discern what is going in the world around you and to really listen to what is God's will. Where is he calling you today? Thank you. Bye for now.